Good day, everybody. This is a Florida Golden Girl. Today's travel adventure takes me to the town of Maitland. So today's travel adventure is a simply a walk through Lake Sabella. When I first seen that name, immediately I thought of a cat that we owned whose name was Sabella. And um, this is such a pretty area. Um, it's quiet and it's peaceful and it's right up the road from the from the art center in Maitland and so I figure while we're waiting for this to um, open I take you on a little walk there's a park over over there and then over here it's a little bit of a of an attraction. Now there's people paddle boarding over there, but I wanted to uh, introduce you to the area. And so there looks like there's a little bit of a map here that we're going to take a look at. That's one thing I've always wanted to try was paddle boarding. But that's in the future. Right now I got too many other issues going on. So this is just Lake Sabella stormwater treatment program. So, and this is, like I said, just a little park. It's so interesting how nature is. When you're young, what would you have done with the squirrels? Let me tell you, those things are, are they're, they're, they're smart. When I was living in, um, in, in uh, Virginia, and um, there was this big tree out in the front of our apartment window and um, there was these two squirrels. Now, mind you, every morning they were always climbing the tree and were out front of our, um, our window. <laughs> and so this was going on. They would see us, we would see them, and then eventually we started feeding them. Wrong thing to do. One of them got too bold. One day, one of them got too bold and ended up in our, our apartment. And one of our cats got, tried to get a hold of it. And uh, it got away, but it always remembered us. So we always fed it, but we fed it outside um, on the ground. And I want to say, we lived in that apartment for a little over first two years of married life. And then eventually, we never seen it no more after that. Um, it, it's just funny how something will trigger a memory. And so, I never did forget those squirrels. And it was sad. You know, um, I want to say we were getting ready to move and found one of them. But the other one we never seen. You kind of... You know, they, we would call them and they'd run up and, um, we, you know, we, we never tried to, you know, we would say hello and things like that, you know, but that's about as far as it went. This is a pretty area. Look at this. I'm on East Lake Sabella Drive here in Maitland. And uh, they really do have this laid out very nicely. And so, um,
Now, if this isn't a pretty picture, this would be perfect for like a Easter sunrise service. Look at that. I mean, people have this right, right, right across the street, right across their own backyard. And, uh, Believe it or not, these are Victoria copyrighted. I think it's a camera. Got a couple of books. But look at this. Yeah, look at this. That's pretty cool. What does that say? Yep. That's a message right there. Yeah. Off. New, new beginning this summer. So look at that. So they must, so that's a church across the street and so they must hold outdoor services here. And this is pretty. And so it, this looks like a little area that's called Asbury Memorial Gardens. Do not walk in the garden. Well, no, I walk around the garden, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'll bet, you know, with some plants and things like that, that's a pretty nice little area. I mean, you have a nice little picnic area here. Look at that. I mean, this is a place, you know, if you want to meditate and do yoga or just come and have a picnic lunch. This is just an ideal area. Another free little library. I picked up, I picked up a couple of books. Um, Murder on Lexington Avenue and Murder on Amsterdam Avenue. Um, I'm a big reader. I find that as I have more time, that uh, this is something that I like to do. Um, I have a Kindle app on my phone and I'm always reading. Um, I'm either reading mysteries or romance novels. I like the I find I like the mysteries a little bit more than the romance novels. The romance novels, um, they've gotten a little bit. Um, it's the same plot. I mean, I used to love um, Barbara Carlin, but you know now my favorite author is Anne Perry. I love the way she writes. Um, So I just, like I said, I just thought, you know, they had a little free book library and I'll in turn donate them. People don't collect paperbacks anymore. I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of surprised. They, uh, they don't collect paperbacks anymore. And then there's my sidekick over there. But people, yeah, I mean... Uh, normally, you know, in the past, I've bought books, and um, when I was living in um, Virginia, many people, um, they were, they liked the paperbacks, so I'd donate them to the installation library, and then now they don't, normally in the past, you know, you buy brand new ones, and they won't accept them, they're just like, well, people don't like People don't like uh, books anymore. And that's such a shame. Um, there's just a lot of uh, nice books out there that contain valuable information. And it's just, you know. See, look at these. This is an older, an older neighborhood. 
And I just, like I said, this is just, this goes on and on. And uh, like I said, it's around a lake and the levels really do look high. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, that's a pretty house there. I'm just surprised nobody, nobody, um, it's quiet. Nobody, you know, nobody's making any comments. But I mean, like I said, you know, you got your lakeside and all that here. And then it just kind of, you're just walking around the lake. And so, I wanted to share this little walk with you before we enter the uh, art studio. So, I'm here in Lake Sabella to get an opportunity. Check the area out. It's nice, peaceful, and relaxable. If you get an opportunity, take a look at my earlier videos. I really think you might find something that you will enjoy. Like, subscribe, click on that notification bell that lets you know when a new video will be uploaded. I upload every Saturday, folks. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend, tell the dog, tell the cat. Word of mouth is how my channel grows. I appreciate each and every one of you that has taken the time to come along with me on this journey. Thanks for watching, folks. So long for now.